everyone. Thanks for requesting me. It's Violet. Velvet Violet. Oh my goodness. Man, I had a long day at day job, you guys. All I wanted to do was come home and play games. Uh, I'm tired of day job. It's killing me slowly. Oh. In any case, <clears throat> it looks like we have some sort of event going on in uh, Mistia's Isakayaka Isakaya. Man, I'm all turned around today. In any case, like I can't like click on the menus or anything. When I stopped to stream last or stopped the stream yesterday, I actually had to like right click the icon and close it that way because I couldn't get into the menu. So I think something's gonna happen. So buckle up or something. Oh my god, Kyoko's gone. Alright, I'll work hard today too. Kyoko. Good morning, Misty. Morning, Kyoko. You're here early. Don't you have to recite sutras and sweep the floor today? Nope, I finished sweeping the front gate. The priestess has to chant with her followers today, so she won't need me for a while. However, after we finish our chit-chat, I still have to return to sweep the backyard before the head priestess returns. Thank you for the hard work. It's not easy for you either. None of us have it easy. I hear there's a servant in the netherworld who is never paid and only has a day off when sick. There's also that vampire's maid who works all day and night. Some say she uses she uses used her time manipulation ability to work a 40 hours, 48 hours per day. Girl, no, she's having a nap nap, don't you think? I'd be having a nap nap. That's why I want time stopping powers. So I could have a nap. And even though she looks like a teenager, she's actually been working for decades. Where did you hear this from? Um, the Tengu's newspaper? Compared to them, we're much better off. I get 10 days off a year. 10 days. Girl. Since we don't have much time, let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Yep. What genre of song should we practice for Miss Reimu? Rock is where it's at. Well, about that. Is something wrong? Nothing. Let's just go with that. What about the stage? We don't have money to build a stage right now. Let's see what we can use it from the izakaya. Well, even if it's just borderline tolerable, let's do our best to make Miss Reimu happy. You do seem to be planning something interesting. What? Scary. Wait, aren't you? Miss Suika, where'd you come from? <laughs> You two were talking about a live performance? Ah, uh, did you hear everything? It's a good idea, I'll help too. <laughs> Would you really? Excuse you, we only never lie. Then, why? And also, what about Kassin? Huh? Eh? 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 What about Kassin? Just, just saying, anyways. You're doing it for Reimu, right? She's always been tired lately and doesn't want to party. So because of her stress and all, life's been really boring. Hurry and help her regain her spirit so she can host parties again. I see, Miss Suika also cares about Reimu. She's got nothing to lose other than her spirit. If even that's gone, oh well, my. Ah ha ha, that's right. Uh, Tenchi Sama. It's just a trivial live performance. Let's use this chance to show everyone what heaven is all about. Does that mean... Tenchi-sama wants to help as well! A live performance in a heavenly style? Maybe it'll be fun. <laughs> I feel like Miss Suika is just enjoying the show. Misty, can you really trust these two? Well... Huh? How utterly uneducated! And you dare question the words of a celestial? No, I... Don't worry, she just wants to do something very mood, just like you. <laughs> it is a blessing for you lowly earthlings to receive the help from a noble celestial. Although she wants to help, I'm not grateful at all just from the way she speaks. Well then, I'm counting on all of you. So, we'll do it next weekend. Next, when it comes to parties, of course, it's the most important part is the wine. What kind of noble dishes could possibly come out of the filth on Earth? Only the One Sake barely meets my standards. Well then, Celestial, we'll leave ingredients to you then. Eh, of course, leave it to me. Then I'll... Little birdie, go find some drinks that Raimu would like. Miss Raymu's favorite drink should be so chew. Okay. Hello. Yeah, yeah, give me some so chew, dork ass loser. Ooh, we're running low on pork and eggs. Me, if I don't have 100 of every item. Oh my god, we're running out. Ching, gotta talk to Chen. 
Chen, I'm here to play with you. What's wrong? You look upset again. Don't pretend you're close to me. Huh? I thought we were already friends. Stop it! At this rate, I can't even... Can't even what? Ah, so annoying! Go away! Must raise friendship levels. The sun's burning so bright today. I'm so jealous that you visited so many different places. Is that so? I mean, you occasionally mention that things that don't exist in Gensokyo, and I can't understand them at all. I can't understand them either. If I fly around fle freely like you, maybe I could learn something. Wait, what did you just say? So you don't understand what you say either? Of course not! I really shouldn't be surprised. Head is completely empty, number one. No thoughts, head empty. Okay. And I think Riggle's friendship is maxed. Yeah, see, the hearts didn't go up. Yeah. some lampreys no more seaweed give me a fish please can't have shit here okay let's go to the shrine gotta get my coins baby Better talk to Tenshi. To enjoy life, you need to live by one rule. Know when to quit. As if you even take your own advice. Tenshi-sama, your dress actually reflects the change in weather. Feel free to express your shock and awe. My possessions are all treasures that earth dwellers can't, dwellers can't even fathom. <laughs> your sword also looks different. I've never seen one that, on earth that can glow. This is the sword of Hiso, the legendary treasure of heaven. Then what about the pickle-looking stone over there? You half-wit! That is a keystone! It can invoke or suppress earthquakes. Wow, that sounds super impressive! However, I still personally believe that the most mysterious and unexplainable thing on you is... Your hat that can grow an infinite number of peaches. Peaches. Oh, did I cook those things for you? I did not. Haha, <laughs> oops. Forgot about that. Miss Suika, what nice weather we have today. Right, great weather. Totally get wasted. Is is that so? Or maybe we could just sip some tea quietly? Ha! Huh? What's so good about that bitter and numbing drink? I dare you to try finding Oni sipping tea, just like an old grandma. I'm not a Reimu. Are you saying that Miss Reimu's like an old grandma? Wait a minute, isn't alcohol bitter and numbing? Hmm, did you just say something? No, nothing at all. Weimu. You again. Do you have nothing better to do? It's because I'm Miss Remu's neighbor after all. We run into each other pretty frequently. Hmm, <laughs> so the izakaya is still too close to the shrine. Should I force you to move? I, I gotta get out of here. Okay, anyways. Coins, coins, coins. Oh, we got a coffee. Cute. Oh, we got some money. Yeah, we got some stuff. And a coin. I wonder how many coins I've got. I've got 17 froggy coins, so I wonder if that's enough to do anything. Hmm. Okay, that's still in six days. Oh. I have to give it to her. Okay. Suika, I have fruity sours. Can I trust you to not drink this? So, she likes that kind of wine. Then this should be good. Hey, take this with you. I 
I wonder how to get this. Okay. I think that's all of our time quests besides the dead. So, should be fine. Alright, let's collect some ingredients. Ingredients. Should I go? I haven't been to former hell yet, so let's go there. Okay, I wonder what these guys would like. Tenshi goes down there? What the fuck's she doing down there? Get your ass back in heaven. Okay. Well, if you geese down here, then it's gotta be good with alcohol. Let's see. I feel like Yugi would like greasy food. Let's see what we get. Oh, and I also got extra stuff from the shrine. So let's see what we got. Seafood, miso soup, miso tofu, rice ball, and mochi. Oh, by the way, I learned that wireless headphones uh, have a delay in sound. So sorry if I've been like being like la la la, but like it's totally off. My bad. But the good news is I got a new headset. Yay! It was a gift. I started it. Okay, cool. Farsi! Do you like sweet food? Do you want mochi? Because it costs $30. Please say yes. I'm going to stand right next to you until you say so. The taste of rage is spicy. Okay, never mind. Put that back. <laughs> Something spicy. What does she want for her drink? A bitter beverage, cause she's bitter. Okay, um, okay, let's make you something spicy. Tofu, put a chili on it. Ooh, strange chain, well. Do you think home cooking would piss her off? I'm jealous that I never get the taste of home food. Home cooked food. Ah! <laughs> I mean, in all reality, anything could piss her off, really, so. Oh, bye bye. She thought it was semi decent at least.
Yugi! I hope Yugi likes sweet things. I want to sell this mochi. <laughs> uh, I bet she wants something strong. I bet she wants this. Oh, do you think she'd like a small portion? With no strength, we'll just be... A vintage beverage. This isn't vintage. Ugh! What does that mean? Is something strong? Girl, what are you talking about? With no strength. Strength boost. Ah, strength boosting. Okay, I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, um, how do I make that thing again? Tower soup, okay. Boar meat and seaweed. People spreading legends so something legendary. Something legendary. Okay, how about I do power soup, but I also put something legendary in there, like a truffle. Drinks, free alcohol. Yeah, boy. No oh, shit. Ah, uh, whatever. Sucks to suck. Sorry. Still made 30 bucks from it though. Food. Ah, damn. I could have given her that mochi, but I fucked up. Honey rice ball. Wonder if that would be any good. I feel like that would be kind of gross. Well, you know, never know until you try, right? So. the cicada slows? I mean, she's a spider. Ok, 
Like, she doesn't like greasy food, but she does like strange food. a lot of money. Probably because I served expensive ass drinks. Okay. What should I do today? Chen, huh? What's wrong? Your or oh, we already did this one. This one yesterday, actually. This one yesterday, also. I want to keep playing this game, but like there's like so much stuff going on that I don't want to risk like missing story stuff and like not having it on stream. <laughs> but it's pretty fun. some good fucking food. Okay, where should we go? I haven't unlocked the Yokai Mountain one, but I don't really feel like it. Mm. Let's open at the human village. I could get closer to everybody. So I'm still not too like steady on what those guys like, you know what I mean? Okay. I bet people why is this one aquatic? Oh right, there's fish in it. I'm like, um, what the fuck? <laughs> I bet they like this one too. Kenny likes this one. What does Kassen like? Kassen likes stuff that's good with alcohol. Q likes tofu stew, so she likes. But she doesn't like hot food. She likes cheap food, though. Does this count as cheap? Too crazy. All right, let's open.
What's unpopular? Okay, the pork stir fry is unpopular lately, so I shouldn't make too many of those. What does Kane like? Kane likes. Okay, she likes cultural background, home cooking, vegetarian, Japanese, Chinese, and mild. Is there any way to make this like Chinese or something? <laughs> In some way. This kid's calm cooking to it, so. So, this one's special for you. <laughs> what are we gonna get it? I think we've sped up our stuff. Yeah, it kind of seems like it. Potato! Tay likes streamy food. Who the fuck cares what she likes? She can eat it. And not my food. My boot. I don't give a shit what she likes. She didn't come to my store and make me pay premium for like fucking nothing. Except for Raysun. I will pay premium for Raysun, but like that's it. fungus, hot, greasy, and legendary food. And she can be seen anywhere! That's what it feels like anyways. <laughs> okay, Japanese, fungus, hot, greasy, legendary. Fungus legendary. Okay, this should do good.
Okay, yes. he like again? He's under special guests for some reason. Okay, he likes filling, home cooking, savory. He does not like greasy. He does not like good with alcohol. So home cooking, savory, I wonder. Home cooking. What has the savory thing to it? Seaweed. Spell card. You can use spell cards. I got a coupon. Sick. Oh, I wonder if that's what a Q will give me if I give her like a really something that she really really likes because I don't know if she can use spell cards in this game. You know. Man, green tea went back to normal. It sucks. Oh well. Okay. Where should I go today? human village for a while, so maybe I'll stop over there. here too. So you know about Genso Beat too? Mm -hmm. I applied for it and have been practicing hard. No, I haven't. For some reason, the machine suddenly appeared at my home. According to my servants, they saw a tanuki around the same- oh no. Same time. I thought it was some sort of prank by the tanuki, but I didn't expect it was actually a rhythm game machine. Everyone was curious and came by to try it out. Miss a Q too? You can laugh. Why would I laugh at you? Music is the sound of the soul. You are a good friend. I've been working on the Genso Chronicle, but there was 
If there was anything else I could do, I would be enjoying music. This machine can turn enjoying music into experiencing it, which is truly fascinating. I never thought that music could be like this. I never realized Mr. Q felt so strongly about music. I hope that everyone can experience the fun of Gensou Beat, so I specifically arranged for it to be placed here. Feel free to use it whenever you like. You're very kind. I'd be happy- I'll be happy too. Miss Heda, I heard that the Phantom Ensemble Man went on tour again. That's right, their music is very popular in Gensou Kyo. I've also heard that it's not easy to get a ticket to their concert. Kyoko and I actually performed with them on several occasions. The audience enjoyed it, but nobody ever invited us to sing to for them. Don't say that. Your music is actually quite popular among teenagers. Huh? Really? That's right. I'm actually a fan of you as well. Miss Hieda actually likes punk rock? That's news to me. Yep. It's the scream from the soul after all. that do not completely surrender their mortal desires cannot enter heaven. Most of them live in hiding somewhere in this world. Miss Kasen, you really- We already did this one. I have a coupon. What can I get with the coupon? Thirty percent off, baby! Wait, what's that? Nuclear steamer. Oh, 40% a chance to get dark matter. I don't like that. How many coins do I have? Yes, I can get an outfit, but only one. Can I afford this one? I can. Oh, what should I get? Should I get the butler uniform? That sounds cute. Ugh. Damn it, if only I'd played during those times. Oh, recipes. Oh, man. But I want a cute little outfit. That's more important to me. Should I risk it? Do I get to keep the coupon or does it go away? Okay, hold on. Okay, four days. We, we can risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Do, do, do. Don't do it. But I have a coupon. Ugh, damn it. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. I'm scared. Oh, I still get to keep my coupon? Sick. Everything's worth it. I'm here to visit you again. Oh, Mistia, welcome. I just heard some rumors about Kane -sensei, sensei recently. Kane Sensei, I can't believe why you look so modest. Wh what's wrong? You're actually lo a low key billionaire. Wh where did you get that idea? I heard that Kane Sensei possesses three treasures and each of them is priceless. I see, that is actually a misunderstanding. Hmm? The three treasures you mentioned, they refer to the Kusanagi sword, Kusana yeah. Yasakani, sacred jewel, and Yata mirror. I only summon the history when the, where they exist. In reality, I don't actually own them. Ah, I, I see. Do 
fish. Salmon. Ah, no fish. Fish. Ah, oh, seaweed. Okay, let's open the human village again. It's fine. Here's hoping a key will show up tonight. And then maybe I can get a little thingy from her. A bloody Remy? That's cute. <laughs> it's not a bloody Mary. I tried to pick some dishes that are slightly more expensive, not super expensive, but a little more than what I usually do, because I want money. I have to be rich. Capitalism ho! Do you think I can get more than one coupon? Do you think I can get like a ton of coupons? Okay, what is he like again? Okay. Okay, filling, home cooking, and savory. And he likes that rice ball, right? God, how do you make it again? Japanese hot home cooking. What else is he like? Savory? No. Yeah, savory. Give me another coupon, old man. Yes! Coupon! I want a coupon! <laughs> yes! Coupon! Coupon for me! Yeah, so the onion doesn't count as savory, so you have to use two. It's bullshit.
Damn it. He's not as into it as the first time. Or maybe he didn't want a beer this time and I just wasn't reading. He usually wants a beer. Oh, Kasen's here. I wonder if she would like power soup. Coupon. Yes! Yes! How many coupons can I get? How much of a discount can I get? Okay, Kasen. Kasen wants Japanese food and a vintage beverage. Vintage. This is vintage. Um. Good with alcohol, home cooking, cultural background, Japanese. Cultural background. Good with alcohol. Home cooking. Please do not turn out disgusting. Oh, a Q is here. A heatable beverage, cultural dis cuisines. Okay. So she likes cultural Japanese soup, mild and premium and sweet. So. something Japanese. Race faking. That's fine. What does she want? A chillable or a heatable? Heatable. Okay. And how does she like her alcohol? She likes sake and it's heatable. Enjoy the Tengu Tengu. Yes! Give me one of your books or whatever the hell you got. Yeah! 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 I'm so good at this game! Okay, so I need two more of those. No, Akio, come back! I need two more of those! Damn it! Girl, come back. Okay, well that solves that mystery. I was gonna say, I'm like, can she use spell cards? I don't know. <laughs> Do you guys think my coupons are gonna stack? I'm so excited to find out. I hope like, I get like mega coupons. here. I wonder if she'll make it. Oh, she made it. Okay, nice. 
sensei. Like this with a potato. Which one's sake? that though. Got to put the potato in it. I figured out what this does. See how I have infinite stuffs? So I could use as many as I wanted to. But I but I won't. <laughs> I don't care what she likes. She's a terrible customer. of some food, but yeah. Nice, wow. Oh, look, the stuff in the upper right corner, it's gone, so it must not something else gonna be happening. Hey, the foolish sparrow standing there. Tell me what poverty stricken what that poverty stricken Miko usually eats besides dirt and air. Speaking of Miss Rimu's favorite food. For such a special occasion, I'm guessing she wants something extra special and expensive. Oh yeah, the fairy merchant at the shrine seems to be selling stuff like that. I should go visit if I don't have enough stock. Alright, I'll prepare some food for Miss Rimu and use it as a reference. There's not much time left. I'll have to get it all done by today. Okay. I do not want Chen's Izakaya upgrade. <laughs> it costs money.
Nice. Okay. Wriggle. Please. Collect ingredients. Kind of food? I see. This much should be enough for your reimbursement. Some peaches. Mm, patch time. This truly is perfect. I'm drooling just from looking at it. I can definitely beat that gal from next door. The shrine really brought me good luck. Doesn't this count as helping Miss Remu improve the shrine's reputation? Coins, coins, coins. Ooh, stuff. Ooh, Umdabara cake. Nice. Freshly collected. Wow, that was fast. As expected of the great firefly. Heh, <laughs> of course. Ooh, nice. I got some lamprey from that. Cool. I have actually. Did I ever open in the forest? No, I did once or twice. Yeah. Let's go to former hell again. Well, I want to go to Chidron. Something with small portion for Satori. make bank oh I never changed in my cute little costume I should do that As much oil as you can get to the fire gets mid alcohol. I thought she might like greasy food. I just kind of feel like that's the kind of girl she is. 
And she likes cocktails, that thing said, so mid alcohol. Yes! Hell's tote. I'm not. What the fuck is that? Oku! What the fuck is that? Nuclear surge! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Put that shit back, we're gonna get cancer. <laughs> This meal is hot! And she likes spicy food too. Is this spicy? Okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, what the fuck? Damn it, get your ass out of here. At least she'll pay for this. She likes- it's premium, it's sweet, it's dreamy, it's photogenic. She's gonna love this shit. Bitch. What do you want? Fruity beverage? Okay. Never ask me for anything ever again. my combo. Fuck you. Cute. She's so cute. Wait, you guys slow down. You're gonna make my combo. My combo. I can't. Ugh. Okay. Food can shorten the gap between people of different homelands. Oh, so like it's a like Chinese one? A specialty food? Okay, okay. So, Satori likes. Sweet, home cooking, small portion, dreamy specialty. Oh, a chestnut, when I get that. should have this. Enjoy.
or a bursting beer. Let's see. I think I only have that one beer. I don't have anything that's aura bursting. What the fuck does that mean? Aura bursting, the fuck? Okay, strength boosting, aura bursting. What does that mean? Okay, well, how about you have some fucking whatever? Power soup. in the seabed are actually connected, a low alcohol beverage. Chen made them after all. Okay, she likes savory food. That's good. Ah! Whenever I play this game and I see those little, like, rice bowls, I, like, totally want rice, like, really bad. <laughs> what time is it? Maybe I could make some. Hmm. Okay, what does Ring mean? What do you mean? Dreamy, aquatic, sea delicacy, savory. Okay, but make it dreamy. but make it legendary. does. What does that do? What else would she like, do you think? Hmm. Do you think she'd like meat? Let's do meat and let's add sea delicacy. Let's try this. or 
love either of those. Anything there. Meat, home cooking, savory, hot. Let's put a fish in there. Because I want to have more options, you know what I mean? Okay, she does not like hot food. So. It's good to, like, know what they like and dislike, you know what I mean? Like, might as well. <laughs> Oh, we had some leftover food. Oh well, sucks to suck. I'm rich! I'm rich! <laughs> okay. Commission for Super Zunbir. A certain yokai pilgrimaging at Hakare Shrine seem to be looking for help. Those who are interested should, in helping should go to, to discuss. The conspiracy of the Night Sparrow Izakaya revealed. We have been conducting secret investigation on the owner of the Night Sparrow Izakaya. Um, she has been spotted recently conspiring with Celestial and Oni. Either of them could spell disaster for Gensokyo, so further co cooperation must be stopped. What? Chen, there's something I need your help with. What is it? I opened a branch in former hell. Can I ask you to help me expand it? So you open a branch in the underworld? That takes a lot of skill. It's thanks to everyone's support. In that case, you should have kind of connections with Tsuchigomo, right? Why are you still asking me? Because Miss Yamame is too friendly. If I asked her, she'd definitely agree without a second thought. I don't want to owe people favors for no reason. Not bad. That's how an ideal businesswoman thinks owing favors is much more costly than owing goods. Make sure you, you're certain expanding your shop further is going to take no small amount of work. I, I understand. Then you know the drill. Start preparing the required items. No, no problem. I'll get rid of ASAP. Chen, there's something I need your help with. What is it? I opened a branch in the Palace of the Air Spirits. Can I ask you to help me expand it? So you opened a branch in the Underworld. That takes a lot of skill. There's reasons for that. Is that so? But are you really fine doing business with the, the Palace of Air Spirits' mistress? You mean her ability to read minds? It's a bit hard to get used to, but I should be fine. You're a bird brain after all. I doubt there's anything worthwhile stored inside. Since you've made up your mind, I won't let it bother me anymore. <laughs> Thanks for worrying about me. I'm not worried about you! Make sure you have the exact amount of items prepared! No problem, I'll get ready ASAP. I'm not worried about you, B Baka! She's worried about us. She cares. Even though this was originally a mission to, like, get money out of me. Because she keeps having those contracts ready. Oh, what? Usually if you collect it at noon, you get double the amount, usually. Okay, well... Let's do it in two days. To the human village! My coupon doesn't last, aww. But I got like a bunch of them, this sucks. Oh well, sucks to suck. Oh, I gotta go put on my silly little outfit, damn it, keep forgetting.
Oh, Kenny's got a quest for me, but first I'm gonna go get alcohol. Sensei, I have some questions for you. If it isn't Mistia, what is your question? As a teacher of so many children, have you ever encountered rebellious kids before? Hmm, children are in unique individuals. Of course, any one of them could be a handful. What do you do then? That depends on how exactly, exactly how bad it is. Did something happen to you? Hmm, it's nothing. I just feel like I accumulated quite a bit of pressure recently. Pressure? Then you have to tell me. Sharing your negative thoughts with others can reduce your stress. I will do my best to be a good listener. Don't hold back, just honestly tell me everything on your mind. Ah, uh, in that case, I'll have to share my ne negative energy with Kene sensei then. I've opened my izakaya for a while now. I thought I had given it everything I've got, but despite this, there are still unsatisfied guests. Whenever that happens, I always feel kind of defeated. I was even thinking, why couldn't they understand how much effort I sank into my izakaya? Kene sensei, have you ever had negative thoughts like these? Is it because I'm not resilient enough? I see. Actually, I don't think it has anything to do with being resilient. It's perfectly normal to feel down from time to time. I have experienced a similar, similar a mood countless times. You end up laughing at your past self after a while. Ah, is that so? You don't need to feel ashamed or weak for your current state. I find it beneficial to experience something like this once in a while, since you can come out more mature each time. The only suggestion I have is that you need to pick yourself up after all of this is over. Life goes on, and you must not dwell on the past. Hmm, but if the guests are dissatisfied, then I'll just make them satisfied! That's the right mindset. Hmm, after listening to you, Kene Sensei, I feel much better now. I'll use this momentum to create a new lamprey specialty recipe. Oh, what do you have in mind? <laughs> I still haven't made up my mind yet. Speaking of that, did you know that your lamprey are actually an interesting species that can live in seas? Eh! There are two kinds of lampreys sea dwelling and river dwelling. The ones you sell at your izakaya usually live in the sea, but they enter do enter rivers during mating season. But Kensokyo doesn't have any seas? Who knows? Maybe they were concealed by a certain individual or accidentally entered through a gap in the barrier? Gensokyo itself doesn't actually have many resources and frequently has to rely on the outside world. Is that so? Yes, it is so. Actually, other than lampreys, a number of e ingredients from your izakaya originate from the outside world as well. Ah! What else is from the outside world? For example, I'll give you a quiz. It's something that adheres to rocks in the seas. Do you have any guesses? Like a barnacle? <laughs> Hmm, I have no clues at all, like an anemone. You can't fully understand if knowledge is simply fed up to you. Why don't you walk around the river and see for yourself? Come back to me when you have new insights. Hmm, maybe it's... Adheres itself to the rocks? Seaweed? The fish don't do that, do they? That's right, the answer is seaweed. I knew it! I've been using them forever without knowing it was something foreign and exotic. Well, I guess so. Seaweed comes from the sea, and so it doesn't have any seas, so... It's a fun little trivia, right? Indeed. Maybe, just maybe, I can come up with creative recipes. New creative recipes if I know more about my ingredients. Please, Kene Sensei, tell me more. I have told you that you cannot have meaningful understanding by simply by having knowledge fed to you. How about I give you some homework? I'm ready. Hmm? Do you know about the river pufferfish? Bring one to me and I'll tell you the history behind it. No problem, I'll find one right away. Boom. GG easy. That's right. This is a river pufferfish. River pufferfish look kind of weird, however, I believe this kind of funny look has great synergy with Gensokyo. Did you know that a river pufferfish is actually a saltwater sp fish species? Eh, but the name has river in it. This is actually because some river pufferfish species return to rivers during mating season. People see them laying eggs at the entrance of rivers, so they call those pufferfish river pufferfish. I see. I really learned quite a lot about ingredients today. Great! Then I'll just use what I learned today to create a new recipe. I'll create one hot pot with all those ingredients. <laughs> You're making a seafood hot pot? Then I look forward to it. Kene Sensei, would you come up with a poetic name for my new recipe? Hmm, you are asking me? In that case, let me think. Three separate and distinct species, all that mysteriously ended up in Gensokyo. And together they're used to create a recipe made by a yokai serving humans. On second thought, hmm, the stream from the pot the steam from the pot. Doesn't it kinda look like angels flying to heaven? Pure, innocent, and calming. How about naming it Shirayuki, meaning white snow? It seems complicated but impressive at the same time. Let's call it that. <laughs> Let's use this new recipe to shut all the critics up. I I'll do my best. Thank you, Kene Sensei. Good luck. I look forward to your future progress. Yay! New recipe. But, like, how I'm serving that, I don't have a lot of puffer fish. Just 
to the forest of magic. Yep, yeah, go. Narumi, you've got a quest for me, girlfriend? Miss Narumi, did you manifest in the world to instruct all others? Instruct all? Didn't Jizo Botatsu Bosats, Bosatsu make a vow to instruct all beings in the six paths? It's a nice legend among yokai. Well, although I'm a Jizo statue, I'm not Jizo themselves. What do you mean? I mean, I'm a Jizo statue. A statue. A statue? Then how did you come alive? I was placed here a long time ago. This forest is full of magic. I don't know when, but slowly, I started to gain consciousness, like kind of like a golem. The magic of the forest is so bizarre. Of course, why else do you think all the magicians are piled up here? So you're not really a Jizo's reincarnation? Not at all! So don't ask me to instruct everyone. To be honest, I don't even want to take one step outside the forest. Yet you're still in neat, despite finally gaining consciousness. You should really go out and explore. Enjoy everything that life has to offer. Yeah, about that. Yeah, what are you doing? That's the tribute for Jizo! Nope, it's for the Jizo statue. Who would give food to a stone statue? Put that down or you might face heavenly judgment! Alright, you said the tribute is for Jizo, but no one's ever met them. There's only one Jizo statue here. A uh, Jizo statue here. Putting food in front of me and saying, it's not for you. Don't you think that forcing me to wait until the food rots is way worse? I think it's more fitting to say that the person who gave the tribute would get heavenly judgment if I don't eat it. Uh, is that so? That sounds as reasonable as well. And didn't you tell me to enjoy everything that life has to offer? Hmm? What do you say about that? Enjoying food is the best way to enjoy life. Th that's right! Without further ado, I'm gonna eat diggin'. Tastes pretty bad, as usual. You shouldn't really be surprised. The tribute has been sitting there for a long time after all. Of course it's going to be stale. I bet it would be different if they gave me nigiri sushi. They taste great even when cold. Speaking of which, aren't you that izakaya's owner? Do you sell nigiri sushi there? Nope, it's been a long time since I made any sushi. Why not? You can get really creative when, with, even with traditional sushi, you know? Ah, uh, if people gave me nigiri sushi as a tribute, then I wouldn't even get tired of it. Hmm, nigiri sushi seems popular at any time of the year. Alright, I'll try to make some once in a while. Magnificent! The Jizo will bless you! Hmm. Why are you staying at this machine? I'm investigating. I know about it. It's a rhythm game called Genso Beat. Even idiots know that. It's not what I'm investigating. Then what are you investigating? I accidentally discovered a very subtle relationship between thread, magic, and musical rhythm. If the dolls were manipulated with musical rhythm, then the music's emotions be directly infused to the magical thread. This may be a breakthrough for self-reliant dolls. I don't get it. Then I better not disturb you. Miss Alice, the tiny weapons your dolls wield are so cute! Don't underestimate them. They can easily handle ten yokai at your level. Really? I don't believe that. For a doll this small, I could flick them away with a finger. Oh yeah, tell that to the magic team in Imperishable Night. They'll blow up in your face if your finger touches them. Eh! How come? Every doll has explosive stuffs into them. However, they are more capable of taking care of you with ne without needing to self-destruct. Those dolls are really scary! You actually put pork and pork stir fry, pork and mushroom stir fry on the menu. <laughs> Thanks to you, I learned many new gathering spots for edible mushrooms. Next time, bring a small shovel with you. It'll make pishing, picking mushrooms easier. Not to mention, you'll be less likely to damage the mushrooms, making them look better. Oh, okay. If you want to have mushrooms all the time, remember to spread some spores. That's just mushroom collecting etiquette, does it? I see. Thank you for the tips. Miss Marissa, does your magic shop have different branches? Nope, this is the only one. Are you sure? I happen to see a Kurosami magic shop in the human village. Oh no, I left my mushrooms on the stove! Uh, well, you should probably go and check it out. Mushroom, 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 mushroom! Oh, what's that? Whipped cream? Move mushroom, cream. Okay, sure, I'll buy it. I'll buy whatever. Yeah, just buy it all, bro. Except for the pumpkins, because I don't have a recipe that uses pumpkins yet. Oh, and then I haven't really gone up here, and I don't have the branch unlock, so if I talk to Nitori, I bet I could unlock it. Oh, I want to buy stuff. Taco, taco. Ka, pa, pa, ka, pa. 
Hello. Aren't you the proprietress of that izakaya that's been popular lately? What are you doing here at the mountain? I don't really know. What a bird brain. I advise you to turn back. This isn't a place for small yokai like you to wander into. I know. The mountains is Tengu's territory. I dare not go up there if I was a hundred times braver. Well, well. So it's true that yokai are more sensible than humans. No human would dare go up the mountain, right? For us yokai, it's only natural to submit to those more powerful. Although humans are weak, they are easily enticed to throw away their safety by an emotion called curiosity. Humans petting cats. Humans petting large animals that could snap them in half. Is that so? For example, if you saw a no entry sign, you'd still want to enter and find out more. That's what humans are like. You sure know a lot about them. You can't run a business without understanding the psychology of your customers, and we deal with humans in ours. So this is what ex experienced businessmen are like. You're still a fledgling when it comes to business, but your cooking is quite famous among the yokai. Hmm, do you want to open a branch here? Opening a store in the yokai mountain? That's too fantastical. That's why I said you were a fledgling. You should take advantage of your current reputation and popularity of the Night Sparrow Izakaya. Why not open branches all over Gensokyo and finally make a name for yourself? You make it sound so simple, but I don't have the money to open so many branches. What? You've been in business for some time now and you can't even afford to open a new branch? I have like six branches. Leave me alone. I... That's lame. That's really lame. <laughs> it's rare to see a well-respected yokai run Izakaya. Well respected yokai run Izakaya. Ah, uh, forget it. It's only a small amount of money, so I'll be your sponsor. Eh, why would you? Housework like cooking doesn't mean much to us, Kappa. It would save us a lot of time if you could open an Izakaya at the Yokai Mountain. Are Kappa that lazy? It's not laziness. Time is precious for us, Kappa, and it's a waste to spend it on cooking, so we just eat raw cucumbers, probably. Do you understand? Time spent cooking is time wasted not making money. Kappa economics is really confusing. It seems too early for a fledgling like you to understand. In any case, it shouldn't do you harm, right? Do you think I'm stupid? Even if you're fine with it, there's no way the Tengu would... will let me open a store right under their noses. Don't worry, the Tengu are better at business than you. What I said just applies to the Tengu as well. There's no way they'll refuse. How come? It's tiring talking to a bird grain. Can't you understand? My time is precious. Let's make a bet. See what that wife... See that white wolf Tengu over there? They specialize in running errands. Tell her you want to open an izakaya here and she'll naturally report it to the higher-ups, then you'll know I'm right. I'm good. Even if the Great Tengu disagree, the worst that can happen is that you'll be expelled from the mountain. Well... But if the Great Tengu agree, you'll not only get my sponsorship for opening the costs, but you'll also the protective protection of the Kappa and Tengu. Plus, the Kappa and Tengu are richer than the average yokai. Th then, then I'll give it a try. Momiji. Um, how exactly should I resolve this game? Hello? An intruder! Leave at once! Uh, please wait, I have something to say to the Great Tengu! You must be joking, you think anyone can meet with them? No, I don't really want to see the Great Tengu either. It was the Kappa who said, um... She said if I told you I was going to set up an izakaya here, you'd report to them. Opening an izakaya? Yeah, I'm the owner and chef of the Night Sparrow Izakaya, and I was invited by the Kappa to open a branch here. I'd like you to ask- I'd like to ask you to report to the Great Tengu to see if they have any comments. I see. Then wait here. I'll go report right away. Eh, that waifu tango seems tango. <laughs> tango seems really nice to talk to. Although your words are a bit unbelievable, the great tango are in charge of the final decision. I'll make a quick trip, so don't think of trying to run away. Okay, okay. I'm back. Ah, welcome back. The great tango said they were very pleased. Your izakaya has a good reputation in Gensokyo, and to have it open at the base of the mountain is a blessing for us. Has the Night Sparrow Izakaya become that popular? Even such big shots know about it. Don't forget who runs the newspaper. The Great Tengu are in control of the entire Gensokyo. Did you learn about it from the Crow Tengu's newspaper? The Great Tengu acknowledges that even if her newspaper is messy, you have to stay silent. <laughs> the yokai don't seem to be very daring, so it's not going to cause a storm in the mountain. Your boss sure thinks a lot. Well, since I've got the Great Tengu's approval, there's no reason for me to refuse. I'll go speak to Miss Nitori. Look at that! Wasn't I right? Well, I didn't expect the Tengu to agree to let me open up a store here. I always thought they were a seclusive race. They are, but the higher-ups aren't brain-dead. They obviously weigh the pros and cons of each decision. Now that you've been given permission, there's no more hesitation, right? Yes, thank you very much for your willingness to sponsor me. You're doing us a favor by opening the izakaya here. 
It'll take about a day to complete construction, so you can come open it here. Come here to open it tomorrow night. Okay, I'll do my best to make delicious dishes to repay you. Hmm. Let's go to the Forest of Magic. Make a lot of them. That's okay. I'll just make it if Narumi comes by. What do I need to make it? A cutting board? Okay. Tofu stew. Alright. I can take it easy for a minute here. Uh, okay, not anymore. Gotta make more of those. Marissa visiting the Forest of Magic. She lives here, dude. <laughs> okay, Japanese food, chillable beverage. Okay, Marissa likes... Japanese fungus, hot, greasy, legendary. popular. It's a good thing I have a billion radishes. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm not gonna fuck it up this time. I'm not gonna fuck it up this time. 
Oh boy. Okay, history behind food and magic. She likes cultural background. She likes Western beverages. Like coffee, maybe? That's not Western? Okay. Here's a western one, okay, um, historic. Um, cultural background western. thing have cultural background? Okay, it did. I feel like she might like something dreamy <clears throat> on account of she takes the butterfly dream pill. Is that my only reasoning? Maybe. Okay, she did not destroy my equipment today. I'm happy. serve her hodgepodge. Okay, how do I make hodgepodge? Okay. Seaweed tofu trout. Seaweed. Tofu trout. The debt is due the day after tomorrow. It's also the day for the party for Miss Raymu. Yep. We'll just vent out our stress through music like before. I'm stressed. Kyoko, I've suddenly thought of something. We've always used music to release stress. But that might mean but that may not be the same for everyone else. Miss Raymu always says her music is too loud, and since we want to help her, shouldn't we What? You wanna change our genre? It's not that I want to change it, I thought maybe we could try something different. That's true, we used to sing just as happily with other, when yo other yokai and spirits sang along with us at parties. 
Our usual genre may not be suitable for Miss Remu, but maybe it's something more laid back. If it's something more laid back, she might like it. It seems like that could be the case. But what does laid back music really sound like? Um, we have to perform the day after tomorrow. Is it really possible to change, change our style this late? No, I can't be down at this stage. Yeah, there's so many different styles of food. And when I first started, it was a headache looking at so many recipes. Occasionally, I wondered why I couldn't just spend my life selling grilled lamp at the Yokai Trail. But along the way, Misty learned a lot of recipes, even when she wasn't good or, in or interested in them. The result wasn't as boring as I thought. During this journey, I've gotten the chance to go to previously unimaginable places. Yeah, and now we're planning a party with an Oni a and a Celestial for the Hakurei Shrine Maiden. That's right, once you start, you'll find things that aren't scary. I've learned that when under the pressure and facing the unknown, it's just better to keep walking forward than scare yourself. Kyoko, that sounds like a great definition for stress relief. I'll go write the lyrics right now. When facing stress, it's not only about venting, but also about creating. I'll compose my feelings into musical notes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Ugh. I'm sleepy. All right. Oh, thank you again for joining me. Ugh, big stretch, big stretch, okay. Ooh. I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, bye-bye. Thanks for stopping by again, appreciate it. <laughs> bye.